Hello my friends, welcome back to the garden. It's a beautiful day here, the end of May. I have a uh, kiddie pool here with some rocks and some water. I uh, wanted to have it for the honeybees. I sat it out last few years, but the water gets all nasty in it and stuff after sitting around. <clears throat> I tried one of those little solar fountains, but all it does is shoot the water out of the pond, and then if you, even if you anchor it, uh, the filter was always getting plugged and it really didn't have much any positive effect so what I've done is made a fog filter you can watch uh, one of my garden vlogs to see how I made it I made a video just where I did all this pond up here it's basically just a plastic tote the water goes into the bottom percolates up through a bunch of rocks I put in there and then uh, charcoal that I make for my biochar and that's uh, the bog filter it's just been installed this is the first full day that will be running with sun uh, it's uh, the second day but uh, yesterday was very cloudy <clears throat> and the pump didn't run very much and when it did it wasn't running as strong as it is now but as you can see the water is very uh, dark disgusting like a brown color so this was rainwater and uh, some snow too because it is uh, May in north central Alberta so we get a bit of everything <clears throat> go from one extreme to another but yeah it filled up with rainwater and snow and then because I added the uh, tote as a filter I used water that I scooped up out of the swale. Well, there's mosquito larvae in there. All right. I'll have to uh, dump that out on the ground. Use it for something. I'll water the garden with it today, so the mosquitoes don't hatch and fly around. But uh, yeah. So what I'll do is just uh, keep you updated on uh, how this is clearing. So again, this is uh, day two, but the first full day of of sun and as you can see water is uh, very murky but the filter is running the only problem is a solar filter so it's not running 24 hours a day so I don't know if this will really work for what I want it to do but we'll see we'll find out again this is uh, day two of the installation but uh, day one of the first full sun and the water I don't think is any more clear than when I first started it up. It's actually uh, uh, murkier. Maybe I should have rinsed off the charcoal better. But we'll see what happens. End of day two. This is day four. And uh, if it's cleared at all, it just seems maybe some sediment has settled. It's hard to see here with the reflection of the light, but uh, yeah, the problem I'm having so far that I've noticed is, like for instance right now, it's not that late in the day, there's still lots of sun, except I have uh, these trees to the west where the sun's at, and the solar pump is turning off quite early between 4 and 5 p.m. so I'm getting maybe eight hours of power out of it so not a lot of water has been circulated in the last few days not the last three days I guess this is day four so what I did here was uh, upgraded the pump I have, uh, electrical pump is not powered by solar so I'll run this uh, when the solar pump is not running. Uh, I'll keep them both in here. Again, uh, I don't have much line, so it's not going to sit exactly opposite. But yeah, D4, still pretty cloudy. Um, I have observed uh, some sediment settling in the kiddie pool pond here, but yeah, I'm just going to. Uh, Drop this in the water and plug it in, and I'll show you what happens. I have the new pump hooked up and running. 
I had to uh, close the inlet on it almost all the way. And it's uh, a little more powerful than what I need. But uh, yeah, I think I'll do a little better than the solar one. It'll run through the night. Um, it's coming out pretty quick. But I don't think it'll back still. I definitely have a much nicer, much nicer flow than stronger flow than the uh, solar one. But yeah, okay, so I didn't think it was entirely fair to the filter to uh, not have a proper pump running, or at least any pump running. Uh, eight hours a day or seven and a half hours, whatever it was the solar one runs for, I don't think it's enough. I like this uh, stronger stream. So we'll see how it goes. This was day four. I uh, already switched out a pump. Uh, now the filter will run 24 hours. And here we are at day six. So this will be the third day of a pump running uh, 24 hours. And uh, I don't know how well the camera's picking up. The light's reflecting. But I can see now clearly to the bottom of the kiddie pool. I couldn't distinguish between the muck and the uh, rocks on the bottom before. Now I can sell them, see them. But uh, clearly it's not the the biology of the filter hasn't had time to establish itself. It's only uh, been running full time for a few days. It's sitting there for six. It's getting all this white fluffy stuff off the trees in it. But, uh, so any clearing in the water, I guess I'm attributing that to the charcoal filtration. Which we all know works, so. Yeah, no, quite happy to uh, be seeing through the water. It was quite dark. So, gives me hope that this system works. I can expand this into a proper pond at some point. But uh, for now, yeah, it's looking good. Only uh, six days in. I'll bring you back when... Uh, even clearer, hopefully. And now this is uh, two weeks later from when I started. I think it's about a, at least a week since the last video. I had a lot of rain and uh, cold, windy weather, so I didn't really come out here much with the video camera. But as you can see, uh, the charcoal filtration at least has worked. The water is nice, crystal clear. It's been like this for several days at least. Probably for most of the week, actually. So again, this is two weeks since installing the filter. And you saw from the beginning, beginning of the video how uh, brown and murky and thick the water was. Uh, I'm sure some of it was just sediment that settled. And then again, uh, the filter's not old enough for any uh, biological components to be uh, you know, up and running. It hasn't been time enough for all the bacteria to grow and everything, but um, yeah, charcoal filters water great. So no big revelation there. We all already knew that, but uh, yeah, it's great to see. Uh, works much better than just having some water in here. I uh, would get the mosquito larvae and, and stuff and eggs. I think I see something squiggly in there right now. But uh, hopefully that will get sucked into the filter. Other than that though, yeah it's looking good. Maybe throw a fish in there, that way uh, just eat whatever tries to grow in there. As far as mosquitoes at least. And I'm very happy with it. It seems to work. The concept works. I can upscale it to a proper pond and uh, not worry about some big expanse of running a pond. A bog filter is a great solution. I mean. I mean, lying out of a tote, some rocks, and some charcoal, it's not very hard. And then a uh, $20 pump off Amazon, and it's up and running, so 
yeah I don't know if anyone found this interesting or helpful but uh, you know if you want to hang out here in the garden please subscribe always happy to make new friends looking forward to get to know you all but uh, yeah I'll update this as uh, as I go along to summer I'll feature it in my uh, gardening vlogs and see how it ends up in the fall but I'm pretty happy with it uh, the concept works which I was pretty sure it would you know other people are using it works I just like to see things for myself and see how practical it is to run but uh, yeah it's pretty easy uh, the filter is working great that's crystal clear water uh, I don't know how much clearer you can get but uh, yeah until next time have yourself a great day wherever you are whenever you watch this peace